Good morning, Pastor Keith here, and it is morning prayer for Wednesday, July 27th. And the reading for today puts a slant on the reading from yesterday about enemies. And it's just interesting commentary back and forth. From Matthew 5, starting with verse 43, Jesus says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. And as Jesus says from the cross, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. We pray for our enemies. I'm going to use the same prayer I used yesterday, which I think was the first time I ever used that prayer. I'm going to pray it again. And you can listen to these words in the light of Matthew 5, as well as the psalm. Epule kako. Gracious God, your son called on you to forgive his enemies while he was suffering shame and death. Lead our enemies and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now, may the God of hope, creator, redeemer, sanctifier, fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit and through Jesus Christ. Go forth and forgive your enemies. Thanks be to God.